So today I'm going to draw a flower just because. Um, so once in a while, challenge yourself to draw as fast as possible. See how much you can see in a short amount of time. So I'm going to start with uh, the center here and then what's the next thing is defining the size of your subject. So that's how big I want my flower to be. I place the top, the left side, the bottom and the right side. You just have an idea of the, the size, right? It's not going to be precise. And then I'm going to place the petals. Something like that. And like that. And the last one before I start refining. But at least at the size I want. So always do that. Start with the big shapes. Next, I'm going to do, I'm going to draw what's in the foreground. So here you have a stem and I'm not going to go into the details. We just look at the proportions, the size, the distances and small shapes. No details, no shading whatsoever. There you go. Again, it's to trigger your brain to see what matters. Details and shading are a different story. So now I think that's very good. I'm going to refine the shapes. It's going to be something like that. What matters is that viewers rec recognize your flower with just simple lines. You can do that with a pencil or a pen or a sharpie. It doesn't matter. It's all about drawing. I want to do that. This one is a little bit bigger. This one is now lower. So if you can do that in five to ten minutes, do that as often as possible. That's what I want to show you here. And then you'll be able to draw almost any subject, if not easily, if not quickly, at least you gain confidence. I will often use this word, confidence. Just need a little bit of shading here because I want to make the stem here stand out. I will darken a few stamens here. Maybe darken a little bit the background to make the petal stand out. But I won't do more than that because again is to encourage you to draw something. And keep you inspired. I think that's good enough. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.